Hi everyone, it's Joy here. I'm super excited to show you how to create a set of cards for gifting. You're gonna package these together without adding the sentiments so your recipient can add those themselves. Now, here are some A2 card bases in different colors. There are six here, I'll be making six cards. So you can use any color of card bases that you like. Then there are six sugar cube card panels six coordinating A2 size envelopes, some sticky strips for the sentiments, the glassine bag that's going to hold your sentiments, and then the clear card box. This is the packaging that's going to hold all of your cards and envelopes that you're gonna be gifting. Then I'm using the group text stamp and coordinating die the, and the best buds stamp and coordinating stencil. It's the, it's the combo stamp and stencil. Now in my Misty, I am going to start with my Sugar Cube card panel and the Best Buds stamp. I am gonna be using some toffee ink to create this background. Then we're gonna come in with the two stencils to add the color to these beautiful flowers. I'm gonna be doing this for all six card panels. This is a great way and a quick way to mass produce cards. So now I ha obviously have a small ink cube. If you had a larger ink pad, it would go much quicker, but it worked just fine. So I'm going to continue inking up all of my backgrounds and then we're going to get into the stenciling. This is actually a really beautiful way to give a gift and your recipient is actually going to finish off the cards by adding the sentiments that they want to add when they give it to their recipient. Now I'm laying down the stencil. There's two stencils and here is the first one. And there's little registration marks that line up with some of the leaves that were already stamped down. So I'm gonna line that up, make sure all of my openings in my stencil line up where the flowers are going to be. If you have a problem lining it up, just lay this over the picture of the stamp and you will get your lining up perfect that way. So I'm gonna make sure that's all in place and I'm just gonna tape this down onto my grid mat and then I'm gonna come in with my first color combination. I've got two colors that I'm using per card, a light and dark of each color. So this is the candy corn and pumpkin and I'm starting with candy corn. And I started with a larger blender brush, but then I decided to come in with the bitty blender brushes because it just made more sense. I'm doing that because as you can see here, I'm gonna add some shading to each one of these larger flowers. So it really kind of gives you the look of more colors on your background than just the two. So here is that first stencil. I'm gonna peel that back and then I'm gonna bring in my second stencil and line it up. And this is where I'm gonna line this up against my stamp, the picture of my stamp, and then I can line it up on my card panel. Tape this in place and then come in with the second color, which is the pumpkin. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Again, using the Bitty Blender brushes to add some dark and then blending out the light and you just have to clean your stencil in between, and I just used a baby wipe to clean each stencil before I went on to the next color. Now, this is honey and pineapple. I'm starting with the honey first because it's the lightest color with the first stencil. Then I'm going to use the second stencil with the pineapple, and again, cleaning my stencils in between each use of color. This is cherry pop and mold wine, which is a beautiful color combination. So here is that mold wine, it's so dark and yummy. Then my next set of colors are confetti cake and poblano pepper, which is absolutely stunning. Again, the first stencil I'm using confetti cake and then the second stencil I'm using poblano pepper. Then jelly donut and eggplant. Blending with my Bitty Blender Brushes makes it so easy to blend these flowers beautifully. And then I am going to be using the Sweet Basil and Granny Smith. So the Granny Smith is first because it's lighter and then the Sweet Basil, which is a bit darker. Now, I've decided to add some aging to this to give it a little bit of a vintage look and it almost reminds me of beautiful wallpaper. I am coming in with toffee ink and a large regular size blender brush and blending around the edges of all of these A2 size panels that we just did the stamping and stenciling on. 
and you can see how pretty this looks. If you don't want to age it, just leave it like it is and it can be just bright and beautiful. But I thought the aging and the vintage look would be just a really nice touch as a gift for your recipient. So now I'm going to stamp the group text stamp onto some toffee cardstock. I'm going to be doing some white heat embossing, so I will prep my card panel with an anti-static powder tool. I'm going to use some Versamark ink and stamp this up, excuse me, ink this up, and then stamp it a couple times on my toffee cardstock. And it has three different sentiments in this, which is really a lot of fun. It's going to say, thank you, happy birthday, and I cannot remember the third one, but we'll have to look here. Thank you, happy birthday. And here is, I'm thinking of you, and here is the coordinating stencil. And as you can see, I'm just gonna line up those little squares that were embossed with the squares on the die and run that through the die cut machine. And now we have tons of sentiments. Now let's adhere these card panels. Remember, we are not going to be adhering the sentiments. That is for your recipient of your gift, which is all of this card, all of these cards in that cute little package. They can add the sentiments when it applies to whomever they will be giving their cards to. So I'm just adhering these to the coordinating colors. Then I decided to come in with some white rhinestones and add three of those with some liquid glue to the centers of these flowers. And then I'm gonna show you how to just put this whole little gift together. Now let's look at these cards really quick. Aren't they so pretty? I really love the aging because I just really think it looks like really beautiful old wallpaper. Okay, so here is the clear card box. You're just gonna fold it on the score lines and super easy to put together. Fold, fold everything in, close up one end, and then we can pop all of the cards and envelopes and everything inside of this card box. You can also wrap this with a beautiful ribbon, a tag, a bow. You could put it in a gift bag. I mean, it's just really super, super cute. So we got all six cards in there. We're gonna put all six envelopes. Then there are those uh, foam sticky strips that we're gonna fit in there. Here's this cute little glassine bag. I'm gonna put all of the sentiment strips in. Then I'm just gonna slide this into the back of this little clear card box. It holds quite a bit of stuff. And then just fold that top down and we have a gift ready to give. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.